hello welcome to this channel this is Tita think and in this video i'll be talking about quotient rule how to use quotient rule to um, differentiate or find the derivative of functions so we have a function 4 minus 2x raised to the power 4 all over 3x squared so we apply the quotient rule anytime we see a function dividing another function where we are supposed to find the derivative of that function so we must make sure that the function the first function f of x and the next function f of x are two separate functions on their own so let's see how we go about it so before we do that we have to name the two functions like i did here f of x g of x this representing this and this representing it but in this video i will be ignoring f of x and g of x and i'll be using u and v as the name to represent the numerator function and then the function at the denominator so we are told we are given a function like this y equal to 4 minus 2 x is the power 4 all over 3 x squared and we are told to find the derivative of this or the differential of this so the first thing we do is that we say because we are about to apply quotient rule we say let we represent the first function let u be equal to 4 minus 2 x is the power 4 then i'll represent the next one by v giving me 3 x squared in your next step all you need to do is to differentiate u with respect to x and differentiate v with respect to x so when i differentiate u i'll be getting du dx equals the derivative of a constant is zero so when i differentiate this i'm gonna i'm gonna get minus eight x raised the power three how did I do it? If I have y equals to x raised to the power n, then dy dx will give me n x raised to the power n minus 1, where n is the exponent of the variable x. So you multiply the n by the x and you subtract 1 from your power, giving you n minus 1. So I applied it here 2 times 4, minus 2 times 4, giving me minus 8. 4 minus 1 will give me 3. And so that was how I did it for a constant. If I have um, y equal to 4, then it is 7 as 4, x raised to the power 0. So when I differentiate this, it will be 0 times 4, x raised to the power 0 minus 1, giving me 0. So that was why I said the derivative of a constant is always 0. So now we know. All right, so in my next step, I will be differentiating v with respect to what? x this is just by the way so now dv dx will give me this times this will give us 6x 2 minus 1 will give me 6x now we can apply the quotient rule from quotient rule we know that the quotient rule formula says dy dx equals the v remember i represented the denominator with v whether you are using f of x or j of x you always start with what v so it is v then the derivative of u du dx minus then we bring u and the derivative of v u multiplying the derivative of v with respect to what x all over v squared this is the formula. Do not forget to start with V. Take the derivative of U. Subtract. Use. Write down U. Take the derivative of V. And then divide the result by V. Always remember we divide by V. Or squared. Don't divide by U. If you are using F of X and J of X. Like I have here. You divide the result by J of X or square. Which is 7 as the denominator. So now let's substitute the values into the formula. So our dy dx will give us what was v. We know v to be 3x squared. So we have 3x squared 
multiplying the derivative of u derivative of u was minus 8x cubed so minus 8x cubed minus what was u we said u equals 4 minus 2 x raised to the power 4 so have 4 minus 2 x raised to the power 4 multiplying the derivative of v the derivative of v was 6x so i have 6x here and i divide the whole result by v squared v is 3x squared so i have 3x squared the rest is simple mass so let's expand the denominator uh, the numerator and then complete the work so we have our dy dx giving us 8 times 3 will give us 24 this is negative so we are having minus 24 x raised to the power 5 why 5 because when i multiply the powers will add since it's an x term x term so the powers will add so 2 plus 3 this is indices so minus let me work with the bracket first then we multiply through by the minus so i have here 6 times 4 will give us 24 so we have 24 x then 6 times minus 2 will give us minus um, 12 x raised to the power 5 so this one to 1 plus 4 will give us 5 and we divide the result by 3 x squared or squared in our next step I'll just use the negative to multiply through so I'll say dy dx giving me minus 24 x raised to the power 5 minus 24 x plus 12 x raised to the power 5 dividing the result by the square of 3 will give us 9 and the square of this will give us 2 times 2 giving us x raised to the power 4 so now we have a common factor here this and this they are common so we can add so when i add 12 to minus 24 i'm getting dy ds giving me um minus 12 x raised to the power 5 minus 24 x all over 9 x raised to the power 4 and this is my final answer so this is how we apply the quotient rule i will take another example I'll take another example. What if I'm given the equation I have, I'm told to differentiate sine x all over 1 minus cos x. So I have met something like this and I'm told to find the derivative of this or differentiate this. So the first step is, since the equation has not been equated to y, I will say let y be equal to sine x all over 1 minus cos x now from there i'll represent my numerator with the variable u represent the denominator with v so I'll say, again i'll say let u be equal to sine x and let v be equal to 1 minus cos x so now you differentiate u with respect to what x differentiate v with respect to x so du dx will give us cos x note that when you differentiate sine you get cos x you can read this online or watch my video under general differentiation on this page i have different types of derivatives and how to differentiate different types of equations and how to um, uh, differentiate them that video will be very helpful now i'll differentiate v with respect to this so when i differentiate one the result is zero then i'll differentiate cos x the differential cos x will give us minus sine x so i'll get dv dx giving me zero minus now the derivative of cos x is minus sine x the negative of sine x 
Now, we can now apply the quotient rule. So I will say something like from quotient rule. First, my dy dx. First, you start with the denominator, which was v. So v multiplying the derivative of u giving me du dx minus u multiplying the derivative of what v dv dx over v squared i repeat remember it is over v squared and you start with v not u so you start with v differentiate u minus u differentiate v so let's substitute the values dy dx is going to give us what was v v was 1 minus cos x multiplying du dx was cos x so the derivative of the u du uh, the u dx was cos x minus um, what was u u was sine x multiplying the derivative of this so i can multiply through here to get um positive sign x here all right so that is what we are substituting here there was a negative here so it will affect it so i have sign x now we divide the whole result by one minus cos x all squared because v was 1 minus cos x so in our next step i can choose to multiply through again using cos x to open this bracket since i'll be factorizing there is no need but let me do it so you have dy dx will give me um cos x minus cos x this will give me let me put it in bracket all squared minus sine x all squared all over one minus cos x all squared so i can rewrite this by saying dy dx equals um cos x minus cos square x all this cos x squared cos x squared is the same as cos square x minus sine square x all over um, 1 minus cos x all squared and finally I can factorize here again by writing um, cos x i'm just factorizing here one minus cos x minus sine square x all the one this one minus cos x is the same as one minus cos x twice of everything in the bracket is what we have here so i can say one minus cos x one minus cos x and this will be my final answer you can also leave your answer here which is still correct or you can leave it here so the final example i'll be picking will be in the form of a nat natural log what if i have y giving me e is the power x all over sine x so for this one I'll just say let u be equal to e is the power x let v be equal to sine x then we differentiate u with respect to x differentiate v with respect to x so du dx will give me e is the power x why am i saying this if i have y equal to e is the power e x where e is a coefficient of x or the value any random value it can be either 
negative or positive value in front of x then the derivative of this will give me a e a x so you multiply the constant or the coefficients of the x term with e and you raise to the power the same power so here a was one so it will be one e one x which is the same thing now the derivative of v with respect to x for this one will give us sine of that will give us cos x so from here i can apply the quotient to by saying from quotient true my dy dx will give me v the derivative of u dv du remember you always start with v don't interchange it always start with v so minus u dv dx if you take u you different you take um this is supposed to be du dx and this is supposed to be dv dx all right so you divide by v squared and we substitute the values dy dx giving us v was sine x so i have sine x multiplying du dx was e raised to the power x so i have e raised to the power x minus then u was e raised to the power x so this is natural log e raised to the power x multiplying um, du dv was cos x so i divide the whole result by v was sine x so sine x all squared from here i can just rewrite this by saying divide dx giving me e is the power x um, sine x i was not supposed to put this in bracket minus e is the power x cos x dividing by sine square x the square of this this is the same as sine square x so since this is common i can factorize one out so i have dy ds giving me e with the power x into bracket sine x minus cos x so that when i multiply this time this will give me this this time this will give me this result divide the result by sine square x and this will be our final answer so this is the end of the video for quotient two if this video was helpful kindly subscribe to this channel my name is daniel meet you in my next video